Welcome back to the channel, family. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you can get notified when I drop informational content like this. All your support is greatly appreciated and every positive engagement motivates me to keep dropping these kind of videos. In today's video, we'll be talking about one of the world's most advanced minds, a person with advanced knowledge and outerworldly blueprints to some of the most advanced technology known to the human race. He claims his information was being projected into his mind from beings on Venus or Mars. This person was known as Nikola Tesla, and I'm going to connect his story and information to a much bigger picture that few see and many ignore. Considered one of the most innovative and mysterious men who ever lived, Nikola Tesla was born July 10, 1856, a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, and a highly vibrational mind known for his futuristic contributions to humanity. Tesla invented, predicted, or contributed to the development of technologies that play a significant part in our everyday life. Some technology shared and some technology held to the chest in secrecy by an anonymous force seeking to control the world in our free will through technological means. Tesla spoke 12 different languages and at the time of his birth it was said that he aligned with the ancient Zohar prophecy that speaks about the gates of wisdom opening up upon earth. The Emerald Tablets go into deep details about the wisdom arising in the earthborn, and Tesla was familiar with the Egyptian beliefs. In New York City, January 7, 1943, Nikolai Tesla dies of a heart attack on the 33rd floor of a New York hotel. His room number was 3327, and it should be noted that he was obsessed with the numbers 3, 6, and 9, and 3 being his favorite number. 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 7 equals 15, and 1 plus 5 equals 6, and 6 divided by 2 equals 3 for Tesla's room number. Tesla claimed if you could figure out the significance of these numbers, that you would have a key to the universe. One significance of this mysterious number sequence is that there is actually no number higher than 9, that the number 9 represents completion. Every other number after 9 starts the numerical sequence over, so 10 equals 1 plus 0, which equals 1, and 11 equals 1 plus 1, which is 2, and 12 equals 1 plus 2, which is 3, if you catch my drip. Before his son got to his hotel room, it had appeared that someone beat him there because all of Tesla's secretive information was gone. It was later speculated that the FBI was behind seizing his research as the research was declared top secret. At the time, J. Edgar Hoover was in charge of the seizure of these items. Nikola Tesla was born July 10th on midnight, 1856, during a lightning storm in modern-day Croatia. Some saw this as a bad omen, and some saw this as prophecies coming to fruition. At a very early age, Tesla invented toys and used insects to power them, but his biggest obsession was with lightning and thunderstorms. He believed he could harness the universal element through his mind-blowing inventions. In 1881, Tesla had completed eight years of studies in multiple fields in different universities. Three years later, he moved to New York and took a job working for Thomas Edison, but the relationship turned relatively fast because I believe both of these men were in contact with higher vibrational beings, aiding them in an age-old spiritual war. One faction good and wanting the spiritual development for all of humanity, and one faction bad, manipulative, and seeking to play off our spiritual ignorance and keep us at a slow rate of growth by giving us basic technology while they play in the future. It was the ultimate battle of masterminds. Edison was working on direct currents and Tesla was working on alternating currents. Both of them wanted to harness the power of Niagara Falls, and it was said that whoever harnessed the power of the raging primordial element would have control over power over the entire Northeast. Edison's inventions at the time could only power light bulbs, while Tesla's inventions utilizing alternating current could supply light bulbs and other electrical devices. His alternating current could supply free power to the entire Northeast. It was a battle over free energy, and Tesla was seen as a madman for wanting a world ran on free energy. Edison outed Tesla saying his inventions were dangerous and on one of many rivals to Tesla's ideas and contributions had been born. Edison would go on to use Tesla's inventions publicly to show how dangerous it was by electrocuting cats and dogs. On one occasion, allegedly an elephant was used as a demonstration. But Tesla's superior invention, the AC system, stood tall on trial and prevailed. It was still the foundation of the world's power grid and it is still the foundation of the world's power grid today. Because of Tesla, electricity went from being useful to universal. Tesla had over 700 worldwide patents and truly was light years ahead of his competitors. Tesla believed that technology used responsibly would benefit humanity and if used selfishly would destroy our environment. In 1901, Tesla convinced J.P. Morgan to give him $150,000 for the construction of a radio tower. 
when he received the money, he built no radio tower. It was actually a giant wireless transmitter he called Wardenclyffe Tower. The tower was 187 feet to the top and also 120 feet deep into the earth. He wanted to build these towers all over earth to supply endless electricity. He also believed that with this system, he could teleport and communicate with different planets. In 1904, J.P. Morgan realized what Tesla was trying to accomplish, and he defunded the project and had Warren Cliff Tower demolished by 1917. Why was J.P. Morgan not on board with the idea of free power to the entire planet? Is it possible that just like Tesla, J.P. Morgan was influenced by advanced beings who knew that the steps Tesla took was to end the monetization of the human experience? In order to control humanity and profit off of mankind, Tesla had to be stopped. But how can you stop someone who gets blueprints of these fascinating inventions downloaded directly into their mind's eye? Tesla stated that once an invention would start to enter his mind, he would have episodes where he would see light flashing in his mind. And following the flashing of a light was a moment of extreme clarity and creativity. This is when he could see a full detailed description of his inventions. As well as assemble them, he was able to take them apart and rotate them. Many scientists believe that Tesla was in fact in direct contact with an advanced race and all the information that Tesla gave out came from the guidance of this advanced race. It is almost giving biblical prophet vibes what Tesla was capable of. Tesla knew of the universal mind and he believed that it connected all of humanity and if we all vibrated at the right frequency, we could all tap into it. Many believe Tesla was reintroducing the technology of the advanced beings that came before us. He was being influenced by the same ancients that left proof of civilizations they built and technology that they used on a daily basis. As earlier stated, Tesla was obsessed with the numbers 3, 6, and 9. He knew it was sacred geometry. He respected the sequence so much that he would do things like circle buildings three times before entering. He knew about the ley lines of the earth in the 33rd parallels and just how significant 3, 6, and 9 are in nature. He knew it was creation, the seed of life, the egg of life, and then the flower of life. This symbol has been a great part of creation that few understood. From China to Ireland to Egypt to India, the knowledge of the flower of life was carved in stone. In 1934, Tesla presented the US government with one of his most fascinating inventions he called the death ray. Its whole purpose was to have a world scared to go to war with itself, meaning no wars because the death ray was capable of destroying 10,000 planes 250 miles away and it was purely a defense weapon so invading countries without proper clearance would think more than twice about dropping bombs on others. Tesla was referring to the Thunderbolt of the Gods, a weapon depicted in ancient drawings, a weapon possessed by Zeus who Sumerians knew as Anki, a half draconian and half Anunnaki god. It is known that right before Tesla's death, he was working with Albert Einstein in Philadelphia with the Navy on a project called the Philadelphia Experiment at a naval base in Philadelphia. The purpose of this experiment was to create a device that can cloak ships, a stealth-like and invisibility type technology that could be done with a number of Tesla coils that would create a plasma discharge that could turn the ship invisible from radar. Allegedly, the ship disappeared completely and when the ship reappeared, several crew members were actually embedded into the metal frame of the ship. Many scientists say it's BS and many scientists say it's all too real as leaked government documents have been provided. In conclusion, we see that Tesla was one of the greatest minds among many. His contributions to humanity are still in circulation to this day, and many of his inventions hidden and impossibly in the wrong hands. There are tales of Tesla actually never dying, but moving into inner earth. It is said that he was approached by the beings who he was influenced by, and these beings offered him a safe haven where his technology would be used to generate everlasting peace. Now, inner earth is a wide topic that I will possibly do in another video because I am extremely interested in the inner earth goddess tale of Edadorpa, which is Aphrodite spelled backwards. If you haven't heard of it, you should definitely check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video family. If you did, please leave a like and share it to anyone you believe may need some enlightenment in their lives. And as always, each one teach one, hopefully reach one.